Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. Today we're going to show you how to install a new door hinge bearing for your Frigidaire refrigerator. It's a really easy job that only requires a small flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 3 8 inch nut driver, a pair of pliers, and some grease. When you open the package, you'll get one new hinge bearing. The reason why you'd be replacing the door hinge bearing is if the doors don't open or close, if the doors sweat on the inside or outside, or if there's an unusual noise during operation. Start by turning off the water supply to the refrigerator, and then open the front doors so you can access and remove the lower toe panel. To remove the toe panel, simply pull on the plastic panel. Place a rag under the water line. Use a 7 16 inch wrench to press in on the release mechanism that will allow the water hose to be removed. Now, close the two front doors. The hinge you'll be replacing is located at the bottom of the door. However, you'll need to access the upper hinge to be able to remove the door to install the new part. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen and remove the retaining screw that holds on the top cover plate. You'll need to disconnect the wiring harness, so use a small flat blade screwdriver to lift up on the tab, so then you can remove the harness. Use a 3 8 inch nut driver to remove the two screws that hold the top hinge plate in position. Lift up and separate the hinge assembly from the refrigerator cabinet. With the water line disconnected and the top hinge removed, we can now remove the freezer door. Simply pull forward slightly and then lift up carefully. Lay the freezer door on its side. At the bottom of the freezer door is the hinge bearing. As you can see, our hinge bearing is broken and needs replacing. To remove it, use a flat blade screwdriver. If the removal of the part is difficult, you may need to use a pair of pliers. Here is the new hinge bearing next to the old one. If you already have the new part, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Position the new hinge bearing so that the water tube goes through the center. Then, carefully slide it forward and press it into the bottom of the door. Add a dab of grease to the new hinge bearing to reduce friction when opening. Afterwards, you can turn the freezer door upright, reinstall the freezer door. Before you put the door in place, reposition the water tube so it goes through the opening in the hinge. Then, carefully set the door down on the lower hinge assembly. Before installing the upper hinge, be sure to realign the door. Position the top hinge in the door, and then thread in and tighten the two retaining screws. Then reconnect the wiring harness. Reinstall the hinge cover and then thread in and tighten the retaining screw. At the bottom of the refrigerator, reconnect the water inlet hose by pressing it into the connector. Then reinstall the tow panel by clipping it into place. Reconnect the power cord, turn on the water supply, check for any leaks, then the refrigerator should be ready for use. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.